Okay. So, dick pics. Mm -hmm. Yup, dick pics. Let's talk about it. <laughs> That's our topic for tonight, uh, dick pics. So, when you come back, we'll get into it about the dick pics. <laughs> I think I really love saying dick pics. Can you tell? Dick pics. Alright, so anyways, I'll see you when you get back. Welcome to Love Uncut. My name is Sophie No, and today we're going to be talking about dick pics. Yeah. <laughs> Should we send them? Should we not send them? Mm, fellas, let's talk about it. Let's have a real honest conversation here, okay? Let's talk about dick pics. Ladies, you correct me if I'm wrong, okay? So, uh, uh, mm, dick pics. Okay, today I'm going to talk about different types of dick pics, uh, you know, and how you should be sending them or maybe you shouldn't be sending them. Anyways, we're going to we're gonna dig a little bit into the topic of dick pics. So we're going to go over four main points of how I can help you, fellas, send better dick pics. To, to be honest with me personally, I don't like dick pics. I, I don't care for them. I, I don't. I, I don't feel like it does you justice. Or you know what, maybe because I'm super picky and there is a specific way that I want my dick pics sent, I feel like if you're mine, you know, it's my dick, um, technically, and you're my man, then yeah, you can send me a dick pic, you know, show me what I'm store for later. <sighs> Especially if I tell you that I miss you, I miss him, yeah, send me a dick pic. <laughs> but if you're not my man, and you and I are just at the talking stage or, or getting to know each other, you send me a dick pic? Mm. Uh -huh. No, don't, you know? Um, but I will help you on how to send better dick pics, okay? All right, fellas. <laughs> Ladies, don't worry, I got you too. I will teach these fellas how to send a good dick pic and let them know what we're looking for, okay? Because obviously they're not thinking about us. I mean, they're just thinking about girth and length, but they're not thinking about the process that should be behind it. So let's talk about it. Let's go over four, four key points of things that can help you send a better dick pic. Especially to the ones that I enjoy sending dick pics, I get pleasure out of it. You know, I want you to see my Wait to see my. Wait to You know that song, right? It, it, okay. All right. Sorry. I get kind of caught up. Can you tell? All right. So um, first things first. Okay. Communicate. I know. I know. I know. I say communicate all the time, but it's true. Communicate with the person that you're getting to know, and have a conversation and know whether or not this person is into phone sex they're into dick pics or ponani pics you know definitely get to know the person that you're getting to know ask key questions to see if they're gonna welcome your dick pic and if they are going to welcome it then by all means send it send the dick pic but if you hear a little bit of you know standoffish response or you know, kind of against it, uh, don't really like it, don't send it. I think men take it upon themselves to kind of say, like, she likes me, so yeah, I'm gonna send her a dick pic, like, I know she wanna see it, you know? Um, unless a woman says, let me see it, send me the, a pic, then I don't think you should really bother. You know what I mean? Unless, like I said before, unless you, you already know this person and they like dick pics, so you send them a dick pic. So communication is key to everything, first and foremost. Once you communicate about your likes and dislikes, your sexual likes and dislikes, then you'll have a better idea whether or not you should send a dick pic. I feel like in so many cases, people don't communicate about their sexual preference and the things that they like sexually, the things that they like or don't like sexually. I feel like when you have that open, honest conversation, 
I feel like it, it, it creates a broader avenue or it just closes the door for you. You know, you don't waste your time. So many of us spend time with people, getting to know people that we know, that we know in the long run, it's not gonna work out because we're not sexually compatible. But yeah, we keep pushing the envelope, trying to see whether or not we can open that person's mind up or bring their freaky side out. You know what I mean? So I think we should stop. I think we should stop and kind of just listen to the person and just take them for who they are and just say, okay, so you don't like dick pics? All right, I'm not sending dick pics. But if you're the kind of guy that wants to send a dick pic because it turns you on, or the thought of, you know, this, this person looking at your dick pics and, you know, whether it's a lady or a guy, it turns you on and it excites you that that person is getting excited off your dick pics, then obviously the person that doesn't like dick pics is not the person for you. Number two, be confident. Be confident in your size, in your girth, your length, and your color, in your imperfections, in your curve, in your straight, circumcised, uncircumcised, whatever your dick is, be confident in it. Just know, just, just believe you have the most attractive dick on the planet. Because at the end of the day, it's your dick, and fuck it, yeah, it's the most attractive dick. So be confident in who you are and what you're working with. When you are confident, people feed, feed off of that they feed off of your confidence, then they definitely find confidence sexy. So you're already confident out the door, then you can only win after that. Now, there's a difference between confidence and cocky. Don't be cocky if your cock is not something to, you know, you know, brag about in your opinion. It's not about size, it's not about girth, it's not about length. It's just really just what you think of it and what you know you can do with it, you know? So be confident. Prepare yourself for any reaction. <laughs> oh. Any reaction. Like, really, before you decide to send this pic, prepare that this person might really like what they see and definitely want more or prepare yourself that this person is gonna be like ooh, no don't like it it's too small not fat enough like why would you how dare you it's too hairy Ugh, what are you doing so accept it accept their reaction for what it is and accept that you don't like that reaction, so you have to remove yourself from that situation because they don't like if they don't like how it looks in the pictures. It's a possibility that they might like it how it looks in person, but come on, it's rare, right? Let's take Instagram, for example, when we see a beautiful person on Instagram, man or woman, and we ask ourselves, oh wow, this person is really attractive. You know, I wonder what they look like off of the ground. Because you know, with filters and everything, you can really tell with the catfishing. Um, but when you meet them, out of Instagram, like in reality, they're standing in front of you, you're like, wow, you're really beautiful. Wow, you're really handsome. And you kind of feel like Instagram doesn't do justice or it could be the opposite effect, where it's like, you look better on the ground. Hmm. Yeah, ooh. Like, like, let's go back on the ground. Like, I wanna see you on the ground, not in real life, you know? Um, so keep that in mind and don't feel bad about it. Don't. Don't beat yourself up about it. Before you make that decision to take that action, you should definitely prepare yourself uh, for whatever the, the reaction is and take that as a learning curve. I always say you take negativity as a learning curve and you take uh, positivity as, um, as a building block, okay? So negativity as a learning curve and positivity as a building block. Okay, moving on. Last but not least, number four. Presentation. Ugh. We don't think about presentation when we send a dick pic. Lighting is everything. Because if it's in the right light, you can look more attractive. Um, the angle of the camera. The angle of the camera is important. It's just like when a woman is taking a picture and she sits on the edge of the, the sink in the loop, and she takes that angle picture, come on, 
that arch your back angle it just really it talks to you right exactly so it's the same thing you know make sure that the angle is right where you can see the sexiest part of your package <laughs> and um mm, listen a lot of women don't like hairy yeah so you know manscape take care of that manscape now there are there are a lot of women that like the hair definitely feel like it's manly and they want the hair you know the the trail the hairy trail going down the hair on the chest they want to see that you know um, but there's a lot of women that don't like me myself and I I don't like hair like I don't like hair on the chest I don't like the trail I like a man that manscape Understand, like manscape but I'll talk about that in my other video <laughs> so you can kind of go into details why manscaping is important I don't like to <coughs> choke on hair I'm sure you don't either um, <laughs> um, but presentation is very important okay so lighting angle manscaping even if you want to keep hair on it just trim it off a little bit make sure it's nice and clean you know um, just make sure it's attractive it's an attractive pic that you're sending to this woman that you want one day to sit on it or even put it in her mouth I'm just saying you know or the guy that you're interested in you know uh, you know make sure uh, that you know he sees it your partner knows what is in store for them you know that beautiful canvas that they're looking at, their phone or their iPad or their laptop. So that was Dick Pick 101. Should you send it or should you not send it? Fuck it. Send it. Yes, send it. Not to me though. Not to me. <laughs> Anywho, so that's it. That's it for tonight. That was our topic, Dick Picks. So to go back on our four, four key points, communicate. Make sure you understand your partner. Make sure you understand the person that you're getting to know, what they like, what they don't like, if sending a dick pic is worth it, okay? Number two, be confident. If you're gonna send a dick pic, be confident in, in your package. Know what you're working with, bottom line. Know what you're working with in every sense of the word. Okay, lift, girth, the way you move your hips, you know, how you perform. Number three, Prepare yourself for any reaction, whether negative or positive. Just prepare yourself for it mentally before you press that send button. You know, make sure that you're ready that that person is gonna be like, oh, oh, yes, don't show me more. They're gonna be like, oh, don't ever show it to me again. What are you doing? Or even, how dare you disrespect me that way and send me a dick pic? Did I ask you for one? Bottom line, just prepare yourself, okay, mentally. And number four, presentation. Make it look good. Set up the atmosphere, you know? Uh, set up uh, lighting, <laughs> angle, landscaping, all right? So yeah, so that was Dick Pick 101. <laughs> that was a fun topic for me. Anyways, um, let me know what you thought of this video. I'd love to hear from you. Please comment down below. And also, question of the day, ready? Drum roll, please. I'm not doing a drum roll. I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna wait. So question of the day have you sent a dick pic and what was the reaction that you got was it negative was it positive I'd love to hear from you I would love to talk about this topic I feel like this would be such a fun topic don't forget to like and subscribe all right so you can get that notification bell when I'm on talking about stuff that I love to talk about alrighty so until next time this has been love uncut my name is Sofino and I'll see you soon Bye.